Why don't chronic cheaters just date polyamorous people and be honest with them? You can cheat on your poly partners too. The problem is not that they can't commit to one person. They can't commit full stop. Why get into any relationship at all if they can have one night stands whenever they want if they're single? I asked my ex this. Why cheat? I would have been cool with an open relationship. He gave some BS answer. But from knowing him, it basically came down to all the trauma he had from childhood. His dad cheated on his mom. Then his mom cheated on his dad. Divorce. Stepdad cheated. So mom cheated again. He had developed an incredibly messed up view of relationships. Just assumed everyone was cheating on each other all the time because it was what he knew. I feel like it's about power and control for a lot of them. Monogamous people don't experience romantic attraction to more than one person at a time. LMAO what? People are monogamous because they choose to be. Not because we biologically are. I think the question you're looking for is, why don't cheaters have open relationships? That's what would allow those one night stands outside the relationship. But yeah, if someone cheats consistently, clearly they want their partner to not cheat. Some level of narcissism, seeing different rules for self. This would be ideal, but I think the main reason some people cheat is because of selfishness and a fear of losing their partner. So they cheat and lie to protect themselves from being broken up with instead of making the moral decision to leave, but it ends up being a self-fulfilling prophecy. Cheaters don't have the mutual respect, empathy, or willingness to tell the truth to their partner. S. Otherwise, they wouldn't be cheaters. Polyamory does not solve an already failing relationship nor is it the answer to poor relationship communication habits cheaters have a hard time saying how they feel that's why they agree to agreements to placate others but it causes more problems down the road for them cheating's different from being poly cheating in a relationship is kind of like cheating on a diet the cheater usually doesn't intend on cheating but they feel tempted to have sex with another person and give in to that temptation. Cheaters like the idea of monogamous relationships. They just fail at them. Off personal experience their narcissist. Cheaters don't have a form of honor or honesty. They're going to cheat on anyone they get with. They're single flingers living in denial who get a thrill off of stomping emotions into whoever. They get with. Poly relationships are harder to maintain than they are to get compared to mono. There's no way a cheater would even try. Because, this time it's different. Because cheating is rooted in deceit and you can still cheat in polyamorous relationships. Because it's not about healthy. Clear communication. It's about being shifty. Sneaky and underhanded. They're fine with hurting people. You can still cheat in poly relationships. Some do. Polyamorous people are open and honest not cheaters. Why do people assume poly is just without morals? Poly people hate cheaters as much as everyone else. If you can't be honest about who you're seeing, you're just trash. Probably because part of the fun of cheating is the excitement. Or they're with someone they like a lot of their qualities but they need something else they aren't getting. But they still want to keep their partner and the other person because why leave a situation where all your needs are being met? As ironic as it is people who cheat can react quite badly if their partner has sex with someone else. Hypocrisy I know. But those people will never fit into the poly community because that isn't their lifestyle. Being poly doesn't mean they'll shag anyone or everyone whenever they feel like it. That's what cheaters do. 
If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.